Welcome to the MacBook Air unboxing from kdtech.org. I received this Air in another shipping box. Uh, first thing I noticed was it was uh, frighteningly light. And pretty much as usual, Apple's boxing jobs are uh, quite amazing. The packaging itself is uh, elegant, uh, let alone the product inside. All the plastic wrappers, everything, keep it uh, very nice and pristine looking. It's definitely different than opening any other brand's packaging. Uh, it's super thin. There's definitely nothing like it. Pretty much my only uh, words are wow. It's uh, unique, amazing. Uh, the aluminum is awesome, just feels very solid. Uh, Alright, uh, this is the initial power up of the uh, MacBook Air for the first time. I haven't owned an Apple in a long time, so it'd be curious to see how many different screens we end up going through prior to getting to the actual desktop. I'm so used to Windows machines, especially different brands, giving an onslaught of questions and suggestions and things that you must do before the thing just powers on. All right. Selection of English is the main language. Yes. in every language known to man, apparently. Or a repeat of, in some cases. Selection of your country of choice. The United States. Won't let me use the enter key. Got to use the pad. Mac OS X includes a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. Interesting. Alright, picking it back up off on the uh, Selecting Your Country. Click it to pick which you choose. Again, U.S. for me. Do you already own a Mac? It's asking for a transfer of information. I'm going to go ahead and do not transfer now. This is the MacBook Air 13 inch. I upgraded the RAM. I'm running 4 gigs. Um, I got the smaller size processor though with the smaller size flash drive. Um, I'd have to look to the exact same to get the exact size of the flash drive, but it was uh, 1.86 gigahertz, I believe, for the processor. It was just a significant savings of $500, so at this time that was most appropriate for me. Interesting, it's uh, demanding that I give it internet access. appears that I'm going to have to pick this up in a little while because it uh, needs a uh, <laughs> internet connection here 
So uh, I have to get my router started up since I'm mobile right now. Okay, it's taking me through a couple of screens here that were personal, so I kept it off camera. It was basically setting up. I have a pre-existing Apple account. It asks you questions about that. And then it goes in and lets you set up a couple of things. It brings you to a screen that allows you to select your primary folder name for this computer. So you want to make sure whatever that is, um, you pick well because apparently you can't undo that according to its description here. Now it wants me to select a picture for my account. So I just arbitrarily went to the picture library here, just picking one at random. Uh, Set time zone automatically using current location. I'll let it do that. Um, your Mac is up and ready, so you can back up your computer, browse your files, email, chat, organize your work, go. Let's see uh, what comes up for the first round. All right, we're at the desktop screen, so it wasn't terribly bad, and unlike most brands of Windows machines, uh, no crazy advertisements, no uh, obtrusive software so far. We'll see what is on this computer as I dig through the individual files. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.